and guess. We know. We know. Of a sure word, we know that he has a reward of those who diligently seek him. We know that he has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. So today with confidence, we're exalting the Lord in this house. Today with confidence, we are exalting the Lord. He says, behold, I do a new thing. Can you not see it? We don't wait to feel the new thing. We move. We are people who move by faith and not by sight. This morning, begin to exalt the Lord in this house. I'm not sure we really came to church this morning because it seems like we're waiting for something to hit us first before we realize that we have come into the house of the Lord. We have come into the solution ground. We have come into the place where all things are made new. Jesus, we bless your name this morning. We bless your name, mighty God. We give you glory in this house. We lift your name up. We lift your name. We lift your name. We lift your name. We lift your name. This morning, we give you the fruit of our lips. We give you the song of our heart. We exalt you in this house for you are great and greatly to be praised. You are the great and mighty God. You are the great I am. You are the Prince of Peace. You are the God who changes all things. You are a Kueme. That which you have said, you bring it to pass. Our confidence is in you this morning. You are the covenant keeping God. Jesus, we bless your name in this house. In you alone we make our boast. We declare that you are Lord of all, that you are King over all kings, that you are Lord above all lords, that you are great, you are awesome, you are mighty, you are powerful. Jesus, all power belongs to you. All power belongs to you in heaven and on earth. All power belongs to you. You have given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. This morning we bless you. This morning we bless you. This morning we glorify you. This morning we make your name great. This morning we bless your name. This morning we hold nothing back from you because you deserve it all. You have done so much. You have done so much. You have been so good. You have been so good. You have been so kind. You have been so kind. When we didn't deserve it, you showed up. This morning we exalt you. This morning we bless your name. This morning we give you praise. This morning we give you praise. We bless the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord in this house. Somebody bless the Lord in this house. Somebody bless the Lord in this house. Jesus. TPT translation quickly please somebody bless the Lord in this house Jesus is his name he doesn't need a man to be God he's God all by himself he is God all by himself Psalm 145 system is down but in that scripture it says that a people shall praise their God at all times, down times, up times, at all times. A people will praise their God at all times. In that scripture it declares that a people will praise irregardless of what is standing before them. Irregardless of what they might feel, a people still praise their God. For he is great and greatly to be praised. So this morning I want you to lift your hands in this house. And I need for you to declare that he is Lord. He is Lord in this house. He is Lord in this service. He is Lord over your life this morning. And whatever he desires to do in this house, 
we will not be the stumbling blocks in his way this morning. Whatever he desires to do in this house today, my feelings will not cause me to miss what God desires to do. Today, whatever he desires to do in your life, for the sake of a generation that you've been sent unto, your feelings will not hinder you from tapping into what you require, from tapping into what you need in order to perform great and dangerous exploits. The minister said this morning, and it's something so profound, we have entered a season unlike any other season. And it is a season where the church has to choose to march on. Even if things don't go the way we think they ought to go, the church must choose to march on. The church must choose to march on. Even in great darkness, there's a people that have seen great light. And the darker the darkness, the brighter we will shine. So we intensify. We intensify in prayer. We intensify in worship. We intensify in praise. We give God glory irregardless of the circumstances. We choose the way of the Lord. We choose the way of the Lord. Somebody give the Lord a clap offering in this house. Hallelujah. Somebody clap your hands with me. I have come to give back to you. I have come to say thank you, Lord. I have come to give back to you. I have come to say thank you, Lord. Sing, I have come. 
impossible with you. We are living, we are living by faith. Nothing, 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 nothing. We are living, we are living by faith. Nothing, 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 nothing. We are living, we are living by faith. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Not with the God of all possibilities. Shila da brana makosi atala na maya. Shile de bo shi andala na makosi. We are living by faith. We are walking by faith. We are living by faith. We are walking by faith. God of all possibilities. Nothing is impossible with you. Shela na maya. Zele de kosi atara na maya sete. Somebody lift your voice in this house. Shela na makosi. Rabande kirio no noshke tala na brani akezo. Zele de bo shela na na mandezi ata. We are still blessing the Lord. Esha tala na makosi. Rada bazi ele de kosi atala na maya. Zele de mekiosi andala na makizi etele de de bosa. Rada bashi ele de 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 makosi ataya. Zile de makosi ataya de 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 na basa ataya. Zele de mekiele de 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 na bosa. Zela makuzi ataya na na mandeze. Rada bakoshi andala na masata. What can't you do? What can't you do? What can't you do? Shatala kosi, reda bakashi ne mandesi, zele kosi andala na maseti. What can't you do? What can't you do? Hey shata, zambre keto kosi, reke shela na mandosi, reda basekiri onondesi.
God, you rule. What a mighty, 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 mighty God. Zenene me kizi ata. Ishele di eziele ne de bakai. Eshi anda na 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 mas. In you alone we make our boast. In you alone, Jesus. It is you alone. 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 The help of the church. It is you alone. 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 It is you alone.
yes Lord Desire, we desire to be with you as you are, to see you as you are. Flesh, 
is doing he said I've called you friends what is your conversation this morning do you know what he's doing what is it that is required so that you know what is it that is required if he's your friend no one has to push you on him this morning if he's your Lord it's beyond this song what is your heart saying is there a talk is there a draw is there a pull is there a desire what is your Lord saying? What is your friend saying? What is your father saying? There's a way you can break your alabaster box. No one can do it for you. You have to break it. 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 He won't break it for you. It's a choice. Oh! It's a painful choice. No one wants to pour their precious, but only the ones who desire, the ones who desire, the ones who are love, the passionate ones, the disciples, they criticize Mary. Don't expect some disciples to rejoice, to agree. The religious ones, don't expect them to agree with the excess. Extreme. It's a reality where the church is. You must desire to go beyond. He's not precious. We won't sell it to feed the poor. He deserves it. Shakapala tela vian televia. Rakabaya shade in kapalia si vela kosha vida. Oh Judas, I won't sell it. Shakapala si vela. Oh Peter, I won't sell it. I brought it for him. Of course, you can do something else with it. But what does he deserve? 
Let him know your heart, let him know your heart, let him know your heart. Renati Shati, Renakosti Kati Levi Shati, Rati Kato. How much does your life depend on his presence? How much? You are not a Kosti Kati Levi Shati, Sagata, Rati, how much? How much? He wants to hear. How much? Would you be would you be okay without his presence? Yes. Spirit to spirit, spirit to spirit, spirit to spirit. Spirit to spirit. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Holy Ghost, fill this place. Holy Ghost. Oh, Jesus. Holy Ghost. As the day, 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 as the day pants, as the day pants, I pant for you, I pant for you, the waters, the still waters. Where the enemy cannot go past, there's a place in you. There's a place that no vulture's eye sees. The lion's well cannot trot. Teach us to hide, teach us to hide, teach us to hide. Teach us how to be engulfed in the fire of your spirit. Your heart must be aligned with the songs. Oh, he's aligning, he's aligning, he's aligning. He's aligning. He's aligning. He's aligning. He's al yes. He's taking over. The Holy Ghost is there. The Holy Ghost is here. 
The Holy Ghost is it? Is it? Is brooding? Is brooding? Is brooding? Is brooding? Is brooding? Is brooding? Over every darkness, every dryness, every stillness. Come from the four winds. Come upon these dry bones. Ah, I see you, Lord. I see you, Lord. Come upon these dry bones. Can these dry bones live? Ah, oh Ezekiel. Can these dry bones live? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jeremiah. What do you see? What do you see? Oh, Habakkuk. What is that tower revealing? What is your tower revealing? Oh, Zion. Jesus. There's no other hope for St. Vincent but the church. But the church is asleep. Kapala Susa Kande, Oh Shapa, Reti Kapali Adea, Rekasha Bron Tel Aviv, not Pentecostalism, it's the Holy Ghost, not title, not denominations, it's a, it's a revealing, a manifestation, Rata da Davosh, Kapalia, Rekasha Bron Tel Aviv, Malika Doa, Rekasusa Viliati, Malika Bron the name of your denomination will not help. It cannot do. It is not sufficient. Rata Kapalia, Resha Bronta Lavia, Incapa, Resha Villa Dose, Ate, 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 Rata de 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 Speaks over territories. What minister is not your title? It's not your past experience. Huh. Oh, oh, Adam, where are thou? Where are thou? Shatta de Rena Cobrent and the Villa Capalia de Shatta de O Church, where are thou? 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 You should be grown in with my presence. Where are thou? You should be in the place, the realms where glory is. Where are thou? Where are thou? Where are thou? In a couple of the field, in an ocean, in a corporate and coffee, an ocean. Yes.
Surrender to him over you. Surrender to him over you. to him over here. Lift your hands to him. Lift your hands to him. to be intimate with you but there's a posture this is why prayer is necessary there's a posture there's a posture there's a yielding there's a bowing down
Holy Ghost, oh yes. We will burn for you, Lord. We will let this is all.
Thank you, Lord. Glory Thank you, Lord. God. to the Lord. Oh, yeah. 
Nobody, 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 
such a lover Such a lover Gonna find Gonna find such a look high and low Still gonna find nobody Nobody great a strong or wise Nobody great Never seen this time. I don't care where you search, you'll never find another. You'll never find one like Jesus. It's not like Yeshua. Not like Yeshua. I never seen anyone like you. Never seen anyone like you. I never seen anyone like you. I never seen anyone like you.
Job, the Lord is my shame. The <laughs> job, the Lord is my shame. enemies like a wheel. this altitude you don't see your problems your problems behold your God I don't know what altitude your neighbor is in <laughs> but this altitude you don't see your worries today your worries are worrying
somebody prophesy. You're getting bigger. Because of the grace in this house. Uh, because the of the God you serve. The spirit of the Lord in my You are getting say my neighbor, you are getting house. bigger. Bigger. The name of Jesus bigger. in the mouth. Eat a walk, eat a walk. Eat a walk, eat a walk. The one of God in my mouth. Uh, when I speak in towns, even my times are now free. The name of Jesus in my mouth. Eat a walk, eat a walk.
What do you do when the devil tries to frustrate you? You praise. When the devil tries to discourage you, we praise. When he tries to press you down, we praise. When he tries to stop you this year, you praise. Ask your neighbor, neighbor, do you really believe?
ready to go home? Are you ready to sit? Are you tired? Can we praise God some more? Are you sure? Somebody praise. Somebody dance. Somebody clap unto the Lord. And David danced before the Lord. As we dance, we are saying to him, Lord, there's nothing you cannot do. I believe. There's nothing that is impossible One unto you. on our side. The Lord is with us. I said the Lord is with us. Uh, we are the victory.
of God. It's bubbling, it's bubbling. 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 There's fire here, fire, fire, fire. It's bubbling, it's bubbling. 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 It's fire, oh fire, it's fire, oh fire. Oh fire, 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 oh fire, 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 oh fire, 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 oh fire, fire, oh fire, fire, oh fire, fire, oh fire, Are you sure? Do you want the fire? Fire, fire, it's here. I see it there, right there, right there. Begin to receive it. The fire to run. The fire to dance in your misery, in your valley. Whatever you go through, you will come out. It's fire, it's fire. He 
is in your midst. The Lord wants to give it to you. Come on Sunday. Lord, let it never stop burning. Never stop burning. Let it not stop burning. Let it not stop burning. Somebody begin to declare, I'm a minister of fire. 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 I'm a man of fire. I'm a minister 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 of fire. Carry oil for him, carry oil for him, carry oil for him, I carry oil for him, Jesus. You are the ones who said it is bubbling. You are the one who said it is bubbling. Is it bubbling? Is it bubbling? Is it? Is it bubbling? If it's bubbling, receive. Receive fresh unction. Receive fresh unction. Receive fresh unction. Fresh. Go into the back. It's moving. Anyone who desires, receive a new unction. A fresh unction. Fresh unction. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost is in this place. Aya, 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 aya. Angels will locate you. This fire will call cause angels. Aya, sika bala di bisha brenta de vi, grenda te kaya dosha brenta kapal yaske de vi. Rena vila ko ze vira ma she brota kada barios ke devi. Shata kapala kate ke devi rena kabrenta ke devi. Shante le vira ma suvela na kapalia di. Shapala de vira ya kapalia vira na kapalia di misha. The God you serve is He a God of fire? Where is He? Where is he? Where is he? Are you afraid to burn? Are you afraid to burn? Are you afraid to burn? In 2024, burn even more. This year, burn even greater. This month, burn even more. Those of you here, lift your hands. Lift. In the middle, in the middle. Lift your hands. Ladies, there, one, two, three. 
One, two, three, tick, 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 tick. If you desire, lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands. Some of you on this side. Look at me, look at me, look at me. The disciples said, look upon us. Silver and gold have we none, but what we have, I, uh, we give it to you. Silver and gold have I none. But what the Lord has in this house, he's giving it to you. Front to the back, there it goes, 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 there it goes. Puck! 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 Help them, help them, help them. Take it. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. That's it. That's it. Help him. Holy Ghost. Let her look at me. Let her look at me. Yasuli Kapali Zuzela Villa One Televisha Brote Too 
more minutes. He's bringing in obedience to He's a Holy Ghost. Ah, Jesus. Lift your hands, say, Lord, let my life align. Let my life align with destiny, with your purpose, with your will. Let my life be aligned even now with purpose. With purpose, with purpose, with purpose. The Lord wants to release it here. I'm just telling you what he wants. I'm just telling you what he wants. Look at me, look at me. Take it. Telling you what he wants. Take it. Receive, 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 receive. It's what he wants. You must carry it. 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 There's a lot that stands against you from carrying the fire, from sustaining the fire. Aya, aya. You need it. You need it, you need it, you need it. Jesus! Awesome. 
Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon you. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon you. Ladies, ladies, look at me. Don't be, don't be calm. 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 Don't be calm.
somebody shout. It is well with my soul, with my spirit, my body. It is well with my spirit, with my soul, with my body. It is well with my spirit, with my soul, with my body. It is well with my spirit, with my soul, with my body. It is well with my spirit, with my soul, with my body. It is well with my spirit, with my soul, with my body. It is well. Celebrate the Lord. Somebody celebrate Jesus. It is well with my spirit, with my soul, with my body. It is well. It is well with my spirit, with my soul, with my body. It is well with my spirit, with my soul, with in my, my body. body. It, it is, is well, well with my spirit, with my soul, with my body. It, it is, is well with my spirit, with my soul, with my body. It, it is, is well with my spirit, with my soul, with my body. It is well. It's time for you to take charge. Enough of demonic invasion. You don't you don't come to a service like this and ask somebody to pray for you. We thank God for maturity. Thank God for his word. My God, something that is already written and signed and given. A contract that now you can you, you only have to speak it. What a God. My God, my God. If you can, you can find your seat, you can locate your seat. Oh, what a God we serve. Somebody celebrate the Lord one more time. Please. I, I just feel in this moment, before we lose the atmosphere, we should give. Our tithes and, tithes and offering, we should respond. This is a crucial time. Look at what the Lord is doing. cannot be overcome. Amen. But you will overcome. Amen. Ay, uh. Not because you're not used to it doesn't mean it's not good. Yeah. If, if, you, if you approach life where Everything new you experience is not good. It means that you thought that you had the best. <laughs> is it, it is pride. It means that you thought that you had the fullness. But yet you, you never raise a debt. The part of the justice as a shining light. It gets brighter and brighter. Your yesterday can never be better than yours. It should never be. Some people are just too proud to accept that what we are walking into is greater. But it, it doesn't glorify men, it glorifies your God. So what you, who you are robbing of the glory is only your God. It 
it is well. When we give, it's an expression of gratitude. It's an expression. I want you to lift your offering, tithe your seat, wherever you are. Don't take your giving for granted. He says, give cheerfully. With what measure you give, that's the measure you receive. Anyone who is broke is because of their giving. It is written, if you give and you're broke, the Bible is not real. The thing is, we wait until we have abundance to give. Give out of little. Because when you get plenty, the heart doesn't change automatically. Plenty doesn't, doesn't change your heart. No. Change it now. So give to the Lord. And what measure you give, that is the measure that he returns. And we are not giving to get. We give him because of how good he has been to us. Fathers, we give, receive our offering. Let your people be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You're free to come. The altar is open. It's late on the altar. Ah, you are you are bound to prosper. You are destined to prosper. You are destined to overflow. You are too blessed to be to be lacking. You are too blessed to be in need. had some challenges in the hospital. It's good to see you. Stay his mom. for the past two to three weeks have been pushing for us to leave by 2.30. I finished at three or past a meal took a half an hour. See, you can't blame me. Until, until the Lord, if he pushes, is, is, he's in charge. But as for me, 
I'll be trying my best to get at you. I've been consistent since the month started. Miss Sam, is it true? Okay. You shouldn't laugh at me. Isn't the Lord amazing? I remember there's, there's, there's just something that um, God wants to us to, to understand concerning faith. Let's just touch on something important before we leave. Is that okay? Are you sure? I keep forgetting to announce that Brother Greg Myers or media, one of our camera men traveled for a few months to work he got a contract so he's in St. Lucia he called me on Friday he said that all is going well so I had to tell him to forgive me he left a few weeks and I, I keep forgetting to announce it um, those of you who would have missed Chris Lynn Brother David's daughter, she migrated a, a few months ago. It's not something that I could have announced. But if you, if, I know you would have missed her out of the worship ministry. She's doing well. So we pray that even in distance that God will keep them connected. Amen. It's good to see every one of you out. Now, because of time, Brother Chester, it's good to see you. You're sitting with your darling wife. The Lord pointed me to something recently concerning faith, which I will be adding to what we have started. Turn with me to Matthew chapter 17. Mr. Stapleton, good to see every one of you. We heard that some folks aren't well, but they press through. See, when you have health, you don't come, you stand in church and take it for granted. Sickness is the worst thing after death. When you are sick, believe me, I don't know about you. Some people probably, they are used to being sick. When I'm sick, it feels like that. It reminds me that when you have health, give God your best. Amen. Remember on Thursday, we, we, we spoke about having dominion over sickness. Because your body is under heaven's jurisdiction. It can be governed by the spiritual realities. The way you are seated, it is by faith. And we said a few things about faith. Faith is to gaze on what has been revealed, making it our reality. When God reveals something to you, he reveals a path, he says something, don't take it lightly. One man of God said a while back, and I, I held to it. And this is a prophet who I look up to. He said, God speaks, God reveals. But what happens very often is we take the, the simple things for granted. And we look for the theatrics, we look for the big explosion, the visions, and, and the nudges we ignore, the promptings we ignore. And from that day, I said, hey, I have to 
pay close attention to this. And I realize in the, the simple thing, sometimes it's a simple dream, points you, it prepares you for something great that is coming. So don't underestimate revelation. You might not be at the place where you're seeing angels appear, great light, you're seeing entities. Don't take the voice of God for granted. In fact, to grow in revelation, you have to esteem and treasure the dimension that God has blessed you with the grace. You don't despise grace and expect God to act. So are you despising the level? The dimension of grace that God has given to you, the way he speaks to you, are you despising? Are you taking it seriously? It might be a still small voice. But don't tell me that it is, it is, it is not as precious as your leaders, as ministers. It's the, it's the voice of God. And let me tell you something. I've learned this. God giving visions to people, it doesn't mean that they're esteeming it more. Most times the people who see are the people who live careless. I've seen it. It doesn't, it doesn't say that you are at a place where you fear God more. That you have a better character. That you are more mature. Because you carry prophetic grace where you see things that are very clear and others have to struggle. No. It doesn't make anybody better. You can have a better heart just hearing a whisper. You can be someone who is hearing a whisper and you're obedient and somebody sees an angel and they go the opposite way. Remember Balaam? God is after the heart. What do you do when God reveals? Do you take it seriously? So we have to accept that this way of life, the pillar of the kingdom, the culture of the kingdom is faith. Faith is our way of life. It is the way we receive righteousness. We realize that your very righteousness that you have, your oneness with God, that God put it in the, the path of faith. That is how much faith pleases him says that anything any man should receive from me, it should be by faith. So how can you take your faith for granted? What level of faith you have now? Is it the same level you had last year? Are you, are you being diligent to grow your faith? You have to be intentional to grow faith. Yes. I'll explain that. It doesn't grow automatically. It's your life. It's your way of life, your attitude, your approach, your devotion, what you focus on, the diligence that you apply. Do you write things down? Do you take God's voice seriously? Do you take his word seriously? Do you exercise that part of you? The trust on the spiritual. Because that trust on the spiritual, that is a dimension of your life that has to be exercised. The people sitting in church, the spiritual, they don't like it. They, they are religious. They keep away. And that, that muscle, that area of the life ne is never exercised. And 10 years, 25 years serving God in church, same level of it. You can't do anything with little feet. I know we took that scripture and you heard preachers preach that feet as a mustard seed. Jesus was never speaking about the size. It is not there. In fact, the size is contradicting what he said before. So one person took it as a revelation, spoke it, another took it, and we, we have it, and it is contrary to what Jesus was saying. 
Jesus always rebuked little faith. So you could never be saying, have the faith as little as the mustard seed. It's the, the type of seed it is. You have to study the type of the seed. It's never little. How can he rebuke the disciples? Oh, ye of little faith. But then tells the disciples, have faith as little as the mustard seed. No. So I've heard a lot of messages, misinterpretations that, 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 that say you should have faith as little as the mustard seed because it's when it's planted and it grows into something big, nothing happens like that. What causes a mustard seed to grow into what it is? And it's not even a tree, it's a plant. It grows up to about 12 to 15 feet. I'll mention three main things or characteristics of the mustard plant or the mustard seed. If you look at Matthew 17 with me quickly. There are only two translations that mentioned as little as, and it is not in the Greek. So I'm not telling you something that I haven't researched. The King James rendered it without the size. It is the NIV and the NASB. In Matthew 17, added little. No other translation added it. And if you look in the Greek, there's no word for little. That is there. And there's a parallel scripture, which in the NASB leaves out little. So in the NASB, there's only one verse that speaks of the size of the mustard seed as something that God likes. I think we mix up the scripture of concerning or, or that speaks about the kingdom. That's different. All right, let, let's look at it. Matthew 17, verse 14. Am I already shaking your theology? Okay. If the scripture says it, you don't believe me. Don't accept it from me. Accept what the word says, ultimately. But if the word says it, please don't reject the word. Verse 14, it says, And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and so vexed. For oftentimes he falleth into the fire. Are you following? Verse 15, And oft into the water. 16, And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. And verse 17 says, Then Jesus answered and said, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him to me. Okay, because of time, go to now verse 19. When came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence. To yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Do you see little there? No. It says, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed. Now go to the ESV. So let's build a case. Because you can't twist scripture. Scripture conforms itself. 
He said unto them, Because of your little faith. But truly I say to you, if you have faith like a grain of mustard seed, you will sit to this mountain. So we have to look at why is Jesus using a mustard seed here? Is it the size or is it the characteristic of the seed? And if you study the mustard seed, it's a phenomenon. Science is the only seed that they can make a hybrid of. It doesn't tolerate to be mixed. So there are three things about the seed. Now, before we, we, we touch the characteristics, Mark chapter 4 verse 30. So don't rejoice when you have little faith. Are you there? Mark 4 verse 30. And he said, Whereunto shall we liken the kingdom of God? Or with what comparison shall we compare it? Now, this is a whole different scripture. This is not speaking of faith. This is speaking of the kingdom. It is like a grain of mustard seed, which when it is sown in the earth, is less than all the seeds that be in the earth. But when it is sown, it grows up and becometh greater than all herbs, and shooteth out great branches, so that the folds of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. So, he speaks of the size here. Not with the analogy of it. The analogy using the mustard seed, speaking of it. He uses the mustard seed size to speak about the kingdom. Are we here? Okay, go to Matthew 6 verse 30. Matthew 6 verse 3 0. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you? O ye, O ye of what? Are you seeing this? O ye of little faith. So Jesus cannot possibly be condemning faith because it is small. And at the same time, saying to the disciples that have faith as small as a mustard seed. So why did Jesus speak about the mustard seed? Why? Number one, the mustard seed is unaffected by other plants around it. This is a type of faith that he's saying we should have. A faith that is resilient, stubborn to external forces, external influence. The rhinoceros faith. It is not affected by plants around it. And there are articles upon articles about this. Some people are amazed the places where they see a mustard plant grow. It grows even without manure, without deep soil. Where other plants will die, it is persistent. Remember, Jesus knew all this. He created it. And in the form of a man, the Holy Ghost gave him the revelation. It is unaffected by other plants around it. 
For example, if you plant a, a walnut tree, it is a toxic tree. It gets into other plants. It is so toxic. You plant it next to a walnut tree, it will not be susceptible to the toxins of a walnut tree. You can plant it there, it will still grow. It will still stand. Another example I read about jalapenos. You know jalapenos? Peppers. They say if you plant tomatoes next to jalapenos, you'll get hot tomatoes. Yeah. You plant jalapenos and then you plant tomatoes next to it. You'll get hot tomatoes. So maybe you can try that. <laughs> and it can be a unique product. <laughs> you just got an idea. You see in the supermarket, hot tomatoes. <laughs> spicy tomatoes. You make ketchup with it, spicy ketchup. You said they, they say if you plant a mustard seed next to the jalapenos, it will never get hot. It is unaffected by plants around it. Number two, it cannot be made into a hybrid. For an example of that, the DNA of a cucumber, what they do with corn, they take the DNA from a cucumber, make the corn sick so that it looks for nutrients. And they, they bridge the DNA. They put the DNA of the cucumber in the corn so bugs can't eat it. Some of the things you are eating, you think it is just what it is. No. Hybrid. No matter what they try, they can't make a hybrid of a mustard seed. It is stubborn to joining with anything. What is, what is Jesus saying? He says, when you believe something, be stubborn to receiving anything else. When, when you know the thing in the spirit that he said, refuse to listen to any other voice. This is the attitude, the type of it. You can be stubborn in a good way. Now, the third characteristic of the mustard seed, it is tenacious. It is persevering. What that means, it, it, it grows in unfavorable conditions. Even in sandy places. These little seeds. So there are two amazing things about the seed. But we have to separate them. It is the smallest seed and it grows into a, a big plant. Then you have the characteristics of the seed. Yet it is so small, it's dangerous. Have the faith that God can even put you in a place to walk and you're not convinced by any other. Somebody asked me this question about a week ago. He says, man of God, you keep, you, you always say, you know, we should be careful not to break our hedge, protect our atmosphere, not to mix with the world. But how do we win the world? I says, listen, God entrusts the mature to mix. Because some people are not at the level of maturity. If you send them in certain environments, they will be overcome. You have to grow into carrying the burdens of God. You can have a, a heart for souls, but if you are prayerless, by the time you hit the streets, you, you start remembering your, your, the past <laughs> where, where you used to smoke weed. And the scent hits your nose. You say, jeez, I remember that smell. 
you haven't yet matured. Some Christians, uh, they deceive themselves to say, oh, we have to still reach the loss. You know you are not at that place yet. You haven't consecrated. So when, when, you, when you go to certain atmospheres, when you hang around certain people, it is warfare. A lot of Christians, they, 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 they have to be pushed for one hour before they fight in church. How would you fight all day? Don't deceive yourselves. Stop and fit to be that convinced. Are the realities that God has revealed to you, are they crystallizing your spirit? That even if you go through the valley, that you can't be convinced. How do we get there? They said the mustard plant can even grow in garbage. Filthy soil. Contaminated soil. It will still grow. Is that your attitude? That whatever the wall is becoming, that the devil can't stop me. Is it your faith? And no matter how the economy is, I'm not living by the world's economy. Some, some are not saying amen right now. They're even worrying about what you're going to eat next week. The month is not even finished, but man of God, look at my account. Find a pattern. Get in alignment. You come to God broke, but you don't stay broke. You come to him lacking, he won't leave you lacking. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Or a seed begging bread. If you're a beggar for long, it's because you want to. You're, you're not getting to that place where he shows you something. You need to see the right thing. God will make sure that his people are sustained. But he can't sustain laziness. He doesn't sustain disobedience. There's sustenance for every child of God. It's in your contract. It is written. It says, sufficient for tomorrow. There's evil. Be, be thinking of the tomorrow, worrying. Oh yeah, I, I have, you know why it's evil? Watch this. He's not saying that you shouldn't prepare, that you shouldn't put aside money. Is that your peace comes from the fact that you have provided for yourself. And you haven't depended on him. That's why he said it is evil. He says that way of life is evil. It is not depending on me. And when you stop depending on him, that's where he has a problem. He says now you, you, you have another source. I am not your source. So it doesn't matter how much you have. Walking with God, he will, he will always keep you in the path of faith. Depending on him. Even if it's to know what to do with that money. Allow him to govern it. He will tell you to sow. He will tell you what to do with it. He will start testing you. Say, am I your source? Would you allow me to govern this money? You know how many Christians come to church? They have their account, they have their house, they are building house, they are coming to church, going home, and they think they are working with God. Because they are prospering. Even, even listen, even Masons prosper. Don't get into that place because you finish building a house. You can pay your mortgage, you have your job, and you, you just relax. Is the voice of God the, 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 the pointing finger? Do you realize one thing could happen to you? And every single cent where you have it in that credit union, it can vanish. Don't 
become puffed up and all settled. You're not in the place where God, preachers can't speak to you because you, are so, you have sufficient. And don't tell me we don't have it in church. You see, some people could sit on their pastor, but they can't sit on their prophet. You know why? Prophets will get to the root. They, they annoy you. They annoy your flesh. There's not every person could sit on the prophet's teaching. Everybody could listen to a teacher. Listen to any prophet of God. They'll provoke you. Everything that they say, everything that they do is to induce righteousness. There's no prophet who is a true prophet can dwell in an atmosphere that doesn't have fire. And to sustain fire, he has to keep speaking a certain message. If you put a prophet in an atmosphere that you know, relax, we have a family, we come to church, he will die. The prophetic will leave him. <laughs> Prophets are builders. They're not, they're not sus only sustainers sustaining a congregation. They build something. They're called to specific assignments. I don't want to go, I don't want to go there. That's the whole message by itself. But I know that's one of the things that got people annoyed in this place. Anytime you come and you see sin and carnality and you, you are okay with it, the prophetic will leave you. So they begin to get mixed up when a man speaks and when God is speaking. Even in, in, in all ancient Israel, they stoned the men that spoke in the name of God. It, it, it has not changed. Prophets are men of order. The church was built on the foundations of the apostles and prophets. They are builders. Anywhere you see a prophet is a specific assignment. If you are just coming to church to maintain Christianity, you will be troubled. Because most Christians today don't want anybody to trouble them. Just, man of God, leave me, let me live my Christian life. <laughs> Give us Barabbas. They are in church. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when they saw the, 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 the 12 spies came back, 10 gave a negative. You know what they said? Let's go back to Egypt. That journey, they were willing to go. Even though God is saying that this is the promised land, it is, leave me in my comfort zone, please. They'll stop coming to church and make you think that something is wrong with the church. They'll never tell you something is wrong with them. Never. They don't even know. Listen, if you don't understand your calling, the devil will use people to make you question who you are. You better understand your calling and your assignment. Even if five people agree with you, the, the 150 could be on their way to hell. You better know that even if it's two, two million people made, they made Joshua think what kind of madness that Moses did to us. And he had to go and pray again. They had to go and weep fast before God. Majority can fool you, can deceive you. Majority can make you miss God. If a majority doesn't know the Holy Ghost, you better know the Holy Ghost and choose a side. You come and you meet lukewarmness, fire comes. The problem is not is not the person, the, the only problem is their comfort. Oh, man of God, you have troubled us who? <laughs> when they see you, they even get annoyed. If Jesus appears to them, that's the same way they react, but they just don't know. The reason why they think they love Jesus is they choose the part of Jesus they want, not his fullness. 
So there are many people singing in church. Hey, Jesus, yeah, they choose the path that they want to celebrate. But if his fullness comes, they say, this Jesus, I thought he was different. What I'm saying to you is, it comes from high realms. It takes years and, and, and revelation to understand and decode these things. And for God to do new things in our generation, he has to raise apostles and prophets, prophetic men. Teachers don't uproot and pull down. It's only prophets. Teacher will give you knowledge, make your head big. <laughs> They'll keep teaching, keep teaching. When a prophet is sent, you better be on fire. Anything that is not like God will annoy him. God will put that in him so that his, his, his fullness can be brought about. This is what takes a generation years to understand. There are three things I'll mention that will grow our faith. Now I've mentioned a lot of things, but here are three more things. Trials. There's some things that trials produce that is precious. You can't have revival with disorder. You can never have revival and everything is not aligned with God's ways. Order is not just order coming to a service. Order is in function, excellence, everything. It must look like God. So I'm telling you the problem of many. And those who want to help themselves, they will listen. Disorder with fire is chaos. A lack of excellence and you speaking in tongues, it is foolishness. What is your tongues producing? You can't tell me you're spending all this time in prayer. And you, you when it comes to cleanliness, if they come to your house, it is like a garbage dump. It shouldn't be. They come to our house. We have no order, no function, but yet we call it revival. But things will have to shift to align with heaven. So we have to be willing to change and please God in every area. They say we have changed everything. Of course, we are not apologizing. And in whose name have I come to speak now? Hmm. How can a man be saying things and almost every service, somebody thinks that they're speaking, he's speaking about them. Where you get, you you. You esteem yourself so great that everything is, it is about you personally. If a man is a prophet, he's a prophet. If he comes and he speaks, isn't it the same title you give to him? Shouldn't the functionality match the title you are, you are giving to him? So why would you think that he's speaking of you from his personal opinion? You know, some things I sit at home and hear. Sometimes you leave a service, God will show you. This one was thinking that you're speaking about them. 
That's why prophets have to be careful who they counsel and how much people they counsel. Because we can't speak about your situation for the next six months and it limits us. Because you're too petty, you'll get offended. So if your situation enters our message, you start crying. You are too proud. Listen, it's in this house, eh? Do you know that Elisha went with his servant? He says, my spirit went with you. And I saw that you took money from Naaman. To speak about marriage. Oh. <laughs> now listen, I noticed that every time I preach about something, next two months, it exposes where it was happening. Everything, every time I spend time, even like this, speaking like this about this, it should be said. Do you know how selfless we have become? How much we have given our vessel? You see fire, you see unction, but you, you still think that self is there so much. That when we speak, we're speaking from our own desires. It means that you don't understand the economy of the spiritual things. That's why you can't be familiar as a man of God with certain people. You just have to distance yourself and just speak as an oracle. You know when you touch on certain issues when it's a battle, sometimes it's an answerness. Why do you think that we we'll want to store answerness to be fighting when we leave here? We are commanded. If I don't do it, my anointing will begin to sleep. And I always say, how come the people on TV, people all over the Caribbean, even pastors, a church message said, man of God, can we use that video on unity? Can we show it to our church? There's a couple that came here in New Year's service. They, they pastor the church in Paui, in another country. For years, these were pastors. I didn't, I didn't see it while they were here. People all over the Caribbean saying, what you're saying, keep saying it. But people in your midst are offended by the same thing people are being blessed by. Pride. Nobody should speak to you like that, especially when you saw them grow. If that is the thing that bothers you, God will keep raising those ones. You won't escape him. Believe me, you can run from now till next 25 years, you'll see. You just never saw, seen, you have never seen this type of, this side of God. It's not a God to be played with. It's a side of God to bring about righteousness in the church, in his church to bring about order. Read, read, read the scriptures. Told the prophet to go and marry a prostitute. And call the first child, not my people. This is a prophet Hosea. Call the first child, not my people. So that they know. Every time you call, not my people, come. See, we have diminished the prophetic to calling your name, telling you where you must go, that you'll get that job tomorrow. A man speaks righteousness. People are being blessed, but the same righteousness offends another. Are you not unrighteous? If we don't, if we don't become pure, how can we be used of God? You know what, what it takes for us to become pure? When, when there is preaching or preaching until you are not offended anymore. No preaching should ever offend you if you are living right. None. There's no preacher that can preach to me and offend me. Nothing they could say that could offend me. Because I'm pushing towards righteousness. 
If it's in the scriptures and he's saying not to do it, okay, say, Lord, help me. I'm going to stop doing it. If he proves that it is written, I'm going to do it. There's no preacher I can sit under and he's preaching the word and I get offended. Not possible. <laughs> Not my people. Call this other one, no mercy. Tell her to go and take, go and meet other men. Not this kind of God. <laughs> and then tell the man, go and look for Hannah. Bring her back. Tell another one, you take your clothes off, go and preach three years. And he tells his wife, wife, um, darling, Lord says I shall preach without clothes. Okay, no problem. He says, no underwear. He says, what? No, un no underwear, nothing. And preach, make it, go. And you're seeing a naked man coming down the street. <laughs> Prepare ye the way of the Lord. <laughs> There's one crying in the wilderness. And ladies are closing their eyes like this. You know why? He wanted Israel to see how much he would strip himself to come down to earth. Take off his glory. That's how much he stripped himself. When you, when you compare the glory that he, he has to what he became, that is how it looks. A naked man taking off his, his attire. And yet you see a Jesus that comes so humbly. And yet you curse him. It all had a prophetic meaning. So when, when, when Hosea left to marry a prostitute, that is Israel. That, that symbolizes Christians solving other things. Prostitution of the heart. In church, we give ourselves to other things. We give ourselves. We give. And what worship is, is intercourse. So we are worshiping other things. Instead of koinonia with him. We come on Sunday with koinonia. From Monday to Friday, we worship. We go and have koinonia with some other things. And some other people. So he had to tell a prophet, go and marry a prostitute. And he says, this is me. I'm married to a prostitute. God told Hosea to, to become that so that Israel know what, what, who I am to them. You understand how jealous he is over you? How passionate he is over you? And you give your heart to other things. Do you read Hosea and see what God really desires? If he doesn't have all of you, he's not pleased. Don't think that coming to church, you, you're maintaining Christianity, that he is pleased. No way. You judge how pleased he is by the manifestations. And anytime you stop seeing the move of God in our churches, it is a sign, clear sign. Stop the nonsense saying, oh, you don't have to sit. I don't believe that. I don't. Why is the Holy Ghost not moving? Anywhere there is sacrifice, the fire has to fall. And wherever you see the fire is absent. God is clearly saying, these are not my sacrifices. Clearly not. Wherever you see the ark is absent, it means that it has been taken by the Philistines. The priesthood have been corrupted like Eli's sons. It's all in scripture. It's how you interpret it. 
Anytime the priesthood becomes corrupt in a church, the enemy comes and takes the ark. Musicians backslide. They go and serve at hotels and play Marvin Gaye. The reason why I use that name. That is how that act is to him. You go and play and entertain people, but you're not ministering to the Lord. This is what our churches have become. And no man should rise up to speak about it. You, you, you leave the altar. Worship leaders are struggling. But you have somebody drinking Hennessy and dancing to your tune. When the Lord comes, can you stand? A man rises up to speak about it because he was there. I was there. I was doing it. And I knew it was wrong. Even in my sin. And they call such a man. None of them that rose up against me is serving the Lord today. None of them. I spoke to them personally. I said I left that thing. It is wrong. The first message I preached in 2013 was about that. 2013. One of them even called me. Said they didn't like what I said. I said I spoke what the Lord told me to say. So I've been there before you. Who are you to tell me what to do? I was there. I believe that's one of the reasons God allowed me to go there. Although I was very stubborn too. I'm playing music, you're seeing, you're seeing women in the, the, the swim, the, the whatever. Those things that were where, where you could see everything. And hugging a man and turning you on. As they look, they're, they're, turn, they're looking at the man, but they're looking at the musician. You are playing, then you, you, you come back and you pretend that you went to some prayer meetings on, on Wednesday. That is what you give your gift to. In, in, in juicing or storing people's hormones. The music that you are playing, a lot of them, some men stood in the mirror naked to get those songs. Oh, you don't know. How do you think the man in the mirror came about? Some men do. Listen, I went to a big record label conference meeting. They explain these things to you. There's a group of writers. These writers, they have covenants. Any song they give to any artist who is signed, it has to hit. But the artist has to say, when they finish the CD, the things they will do. So that anytime that music plays, the demons come. Who, how can a record label be signing people? In fact, let's not even go there. Because I think enough information is out now. It is being exposed. And you... You take, you go and play that same music. Pass it through your soul. So you, you vibrate with the tunes of hell. You don't know how the spirit, man, the soul, how it is made up. That when, when you partake, you're, 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 you're fellowshipping. You become one. You become a channel. So instead of speaking against that thing, you help to transmit it. And you're telling me that nothing is wrong with it. That you need to make money. So even if it means selling your soul, you make money. What does it profit a man? To gain the whole world and lose his soul. These things are very basic. Very simple. If you understand the things of the spirit. What a lot of them said to me was, our pastor said nothing is wrong with it. Pentecostal preachers told them that nothing is wrong with it. Right now, their church has no music.
Every time I see them, my heart goes for them. I'm not bashing them. I know if they don't, they don't find their rightful place. When Jesus returns, there's no way you can be helping to do that. If God saves you, he has to save the people who's dancing. Somebody told us that heaven was easy to make. I don't know who that is. Heaven is just, as long as you, you say, Lord, I, give my, I grew up in church, I can now live how I want. When Jesus comes, my heart is right. Man of God, my, nobody knows my heart. My heart is right. Even the sinner says his heart is right. Would righteousness not return to the church? Who, who will speak it so that it comes to pass? Will it just happen? Or should we wait until Pentecost Day? We should wait until the, the calendar, of, the Jewish calendar comes around where, where this is fire now. We get serious. And we start praying fire and we count the numbers of people who were filled. Should we not be filled to overflow every day? Nobody. Our young people are perishing. Young men are going astray. Nobody. Willing to stand up. Take the leaks. There's a price to please your master. How many good voices have left the pulpits? What if every church had initial? Had an answer, all of them, giving. If every church had a brother Silva, if all our churches now had a group like this, where would St. Vincent be? And you're telling me I shouldn't speak. Careful how you speak against this voice. I'm not telling, don't fear me, please. When I go home, I go and I take on my burdens and I cry sometimes. I go to my own life and I come back and I speak. Don't worry, don't worry about me. But don't despise these words where you come against them at your own risk. How, how could God be pleased if, if every church had a worship ministry? Isn't, isn't this what God would want for the Caribbean? Shouldn't the church profit from their gift? Who should profit? Should it be them or the house of God? Do I believe that church should pay musicians? Yes. But when people learn to give. <laughs> preachers argue this, and it is in scripture. When Nehemiah came to build the temple, not just Nehemiah, trying to remember now, there was a revival. And the man of God went to look. You know where the musicians were? In the field planting corn and wheat. They were, and he said, why are you here? He said, we have to work. We need money. We can't sit in the same plan, this, this plan work. And he went for them and he paid them. And he says, you stay in the temple. This is too serious. So how can we argue something that is there in the original pattern? I don't understand. says you have to you can't go and walk when you're tired you can't play but worship leaders playing a tune you're behaving like you don't want to play because you're tired but at the same time for us to bring that pattern now we have to do it gradually you can't be demanding and demand your church pay you or you are you're not playing you have to be reasonable and understand where we are coming from. Look at the congregation. Have a conversation with your pastor. Don't be proud. Oh, they are not paying me, so I go, I go and I sell my soul. How can you be justified? So your pastor is not paying you. They, are, they may be wrong, but you too, you are wrong. Who is right? So 
I go and work for my own money my own way. I go and dance with the devil. So it's all a balance. Musicians should get paid. But we'll get the But you have to think about it. When the musicians get paid, should the singers not get paid? What about the ushers? You see, pastors have to use their discretion. It now has to be wisdom and cooperation. But ultimately, you should give your service. Pay should not be a priority. Would you best look God? Would you hustle God? It's God you're hustling, not your pastor. You're hustling God. Lord, listen, when the Lord told me to leave the cruise ship, the, the day I rededicated my life to him, I got a call that week. I said the contract was waiting. So I had now two contracts. The Lord says, you're not going back. Stay. He says not to work. My old job called me. The manager pleaded with me. Please, we're desperate. This one is going on vacation. The Lord says, you're not going. I never forget, Brother David, I had a loan. The 31st, I think it was, the loan was due. It was, it was past due. I was saying, Lord, you told me not to work. I was in my room praying an evening. You told me not to work. This loan is due. Where, where is the money? This doesn't look like you. What is happening? Knock, knock on my door. This man brings the amount. I never told him anything. <laughs> never. He said to do Bible school. I don't have money. Apostle Diane Wilson. She came to my room, sat down, asked me about Bible school. I said, what is this? I went on the computer and showed her. She said, for the next one year, every month I'm paying your tuition. I, I moved from being a businessman, independent, giving up jobs, I humbled myself, stayed with my parents. People even laughed at me. Yeah. They talked. Some of them for writing. The shame I felt. I'm a big 27-year-old, 28-year-old man, home with my parents. Now look at me. Telling the world that God told me not to walk. I traveled, went to England. I'm preparing, joining. They're looking at me for years, following men of God, carrying keyboards, playing. They're laughing at me. What is he preparing for? When I tell you about faith, you have to know what God says to you. I humbled myself. I stayed on that keyboard. Played. No money. One of you here, I won't call your name. One day you said, I'm bringing some, this money, after service, you give it to me. You said, buy some shorts. Yeah, somebody even said, you, you always wear the same belt. I'll never forget that. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just saying, I'm not offended. It was true. If I have one belt, I have one belt. One set of shorts. I wore them over and over and over. And I humble myself. God will send ravens. He send ravens. I didn't hustle God. I keep encouraging these, these musicians. I tell them the same thing. I tell them my testimony over and over. I say, as long as you're faithful. God is never unfaithful. 
Never. As long as you do what he says, you hold. Sometimes he has to test you to see what type of firmness you have. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't just fly here. I was on the in the back side of the desert with my sheep. Oh yeah. Sam, when Samuel came, he asked for me. I came home, my brothers were angry. I know what it is to be, be told about Egypt and you enter prison. The same one who they said yes. God says him. I've chosen him to take the battle. Him. Mm. People can know God's choice today, but just don't make them uncomfortable. They will forget God's choice. If you are called by God, know what you know. Know what God said to you and hold to it. If you're looking for man's approval, because let me tell you something. When you have a testimony, be careful. You might share certain things. People celebrate with you. Don't forget that some things are supposed to manifest that they might not like. Come. So you can even, this is just an example. You can even, we are friends. We're celebrating with him. I, I am rejoicing for his prophecy. But not knowing the part that God's way is to leave me alone. the end of the day is not about us. It's following God's pattern. Pleasing God. Because of I'm closing. I'm only giving you, I can't go into depth. We'll do it on Tuesday. We speak about trials. Number two. To be cultured. Faith, you have to be cultured in faith. You can't be cultured in faith. You can go in a certain home. And that home, the conversation is faith. The way of life is faith. Timothy had the, the faith of his mother and grandmother. It didn't come by a lineage through blood. It's a spiritual thing. How it happened. Not just a gift that, no, I used to always think that it was just a gift. That I just entered them because impartation, no. It is, the Lord showed me deeper, it's a culture. You grow with certain women, certain men. You speak faith. You depend on God more. If they teach you how to depend on God, you have an advantage. If we teach our children faith, it will be easier for them. Yeah. Mr. Jackson, the Lord told me yesterday, you know, she, she showed me something. Listen. The things that the Lord is doing now, eh? I, I, I pray that we know that God has elevated us. The things I'm seeing and hearing. The Lord showed me clearly the reason why young people struggle where we are from is because they were not cultured in spiritual things from a young age. So when they get to teenage years, we try to push them in it. Prayer is not supposed to be strange to even a 10-year-old. If you train them to pray, three, four, five, six. Yes. When the Holy Ghost comes upon them, they won't, the flesh won't fight it. So we have to culture our youth. Don't tell me that they're too young to pray in tongues. There's a friend at their school. They're not too young to cast a spell. So how can you be too young to carry the real fire? Wow. 
the culture. And the third one is to esteem the spiritual. And these I'll have to explain more. To esteem. What does it mean? Especially when you're in the, the area of advanced education, you depend so much on the natural. When I say esteem, you have to depend and trust the supernatural. To lean more on the supernatural is to esteem when your spirit knows that this is superior. You know, you know, you know, for a lot of people still, the supernatural is a strange thing. The heroes speak about it and it's like, this funny thing. Why? Because they were not taught to esteem the spiritual. Because years ago, how it was in church, you young people, you won't know. Years ago, when the spiritual realm came up as a conversation, it always had to do with evil. The church had accredited the supernatural to the devil. That's something that the devil had, had you know, done. Christians just thought that anything spiritual was witchcraft. So now, that's where we are coming from. We have to now esteem that our life, the spiritual is what is superior. The Bible says, Hebrews 11 verse 3, everything that you see is a manifestation of the spiritual. Even some people's deformity, physically. The enemy had attacked certain children from the womb, spiritually. It's a good thing to even look at people who are deformed and to see them as precious. Because you understand, something caused them to become that way. God, it wasn't God's choice or God's way. It doesn't change their heart. A lot of times, those are the most humble people. You know, beautiful people, they, it is easy for them to become proud. Because they have more to rely on. It's hard to find a pretty, beautiful woman and yet humble. I'm a man, I could see it. Where I'm from. When they're beautiful, you know why? Because you're getting so much attention. So much attention. You can, you can idolize this thing. Look in the mirror and see your beauty. It, it's, it begins at teenage years. 12, 13, 14. That's, and the Lord will show me this thing. For years, he has been showing me it, that he, the devil would capture the most beautiful to seduce. He wants those ones to use. So you put promiscuity on them. Let them dress a certain way. What am I saying? Is it wrong? So you put two women here, two young ladies. Is it okay to say that one is not so attractive? Because Jacob said it. Leah, she was not all that pleasant to look at. And Rachel, he wanted Rachel. So he was going for the most beautiful one. So when he saw Leah and he woke up, he was angry. So you put two of them here. Which one the devil would seek to use? Obvious. You, you, won't, you won't find, a, you will hardly find a young lady with little shape doing the extra to look seductive. The more beautiful they are, the more emphasis. Yes. When you when you when you look on online YouTube, it's there. Some of you you live secluded from everything. It's going on in the world. TikTok. Yes, they put on all sorts of strings. There's one you see now with jewelry around the waist. And the stomach is exposed. Yeah, all sorts of fashion. Even fashion comes from the sea. Fashion. 
designers. He goes for game developers. Not just beautiful women. He goes for the, the, the artists, the gifted. If you're gifted, if you're an artist, if you're creative, you are likely to come under demonic bombardment because he wants that gift. He wants that ability. This is why you see artists, designers, and they're most sensitive to the spiritual. Singers, he'll be after you. Musicians, he'll be after you. It's hard, it's difficult. You see people like uh, uh, this singer. This singer, she just got married. My daddy. Is she engaged or married? She's married to the other worshiper. Right. Her voice. Her voice, Mosichino. Those are voices, not ordinary. I know music. What's her name? Huh? Sonny Sola. That is a supernatural voice. Her voice is not ordinary. For, for God to keep a voice like that, you don't know the work that is involved. No. You don't, you don't have voice, a voice like that and don't come under bombardment. Your parents have to culture you. You have to be under the right covering. You don't become an artist that has have that ability and not be under the right pastor. This is why so many Americans, they rise up, they go and do some foolishness. As they sing one song with a secular artist, they crash. They don't have spiritual guidance. Let's rise to our feet. We're out of time. This is, this is, this is how the world works, the spiritual world. Son me sola. Listen to that voice. When that girl sings, I could imagine how God feels. And she is not just a good singer, she's a deep worshiper. <laughs> the ad libs. The beyond ridiculous. I say, my God, I I'm I I've been in this industry, so maybe you won't understand my passion. I listen to her say, Lord, thank you. I know you have kept one. There are many good singers, but not like this. That, that voice like that is an instrument. Oh, yeah. And for, to have a voice like that and go deep, it is rare. Because the greater ability you have, the more you depend on it. And the more carnal you become. Faith, walking with God, walk on your feet. Take these messages seriously. God is faithful. Don't underestimate your trials. Don't despise them. Don't leave this place today taking it for granted, what God is doing in our lives. Walk with him diligently. Pleasing. A few days ago, I saw winds. It's as though I looked at the map that a weatherman uses and I saw winds behind the wind. This is something that we have to pray against. I saw darkness the second half of this year. But we have to pray for St. Vincent. Because this, these things could set us back. God is not pleased with this land. They are lawless. We are lawless people. And the youth, he cries for the youth. He cries for the youth. Cries. His heart weeps for the young people. The young women and the young women. Young women and the young men. 
So let's pray for St. Vincent. Let's pray for the Caribbean. Let's pray that this hurricane season that is coming up, the Lord will divert some things. There are some things you can't pray away and there are some you can pray away. This is one of them, I believe, as we intercede, God will show himself. When things come like this, I take it very, I don't want revelations to really take seriously. This one is not to be taken lightly. Let's pray against the end of this year, death. Not only crime, but death. Young people, people dying on time. Second half of this year, crucial. I saw darkness. And the people of God, we are the only light. We are the only hope for St. Vincent. Can we lift our hands? I want us to leave here without asking the Lord to help St. Vincent. To shake us in a good way. That disaster doesn't have to be the thing that gets our attention. Can we just call upon the Lord to have mercy on this land? Ask him to have mercy on this land. Ask him to show mercy. Ask him to project light where to reach and penetrate the hearts of men. Oh, Jesus. 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 Oh, by your spirit. By your spirit. As the book of Ezekiel, the water in the temple from the altar we move from the anchor to the knee. Let that same stream flow, flow from your church, flow from your people. That same stream, that same stream. Let men be impacted. Let men, women be influenced. Oh, Jesus, the Lord is hearing us. The next two minutes before I leave, let's call upon the Lord for this land. Oh, that this land will hear. That all people will hear. All people will seek after righteousness. All people will desire God. Oh, Jesus. God, intercept the plans of the enemy. The strange winds that come at carnival. Let there be confusion in the camp. As many, many are looking for excitement. They're looking for an escape. They're looking for a quick fix. They see it as the only way out. Arise, O oh Lord. If you believe in the supernatural power of God, oh, lift your hands and begin to dig. If you feel like decreeing whatever the Lord leads you, speak over this nation. Speak over this nation. Speak over this nation. Shabron Televir Ramano, Shakapari no Sevilla, no Shahat, Irano Sevilla, Capron Televi, Iranandi Capalas, Ketevia, Nama Shabron Televi, Kurani V, Shabron Televir, Aunt Televia Hasi. Jesus, 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 even our families, the lost. Our loved ones, acquaintances, friends, 
pray that the gospel will have course, will have free course, the gospel, the influence of the Holy Ghost will penetrate every dark place. Use your church around this nation. Use believers around this nation. Use Christians around this nation. There are many, many that you have set up watchmen. That watchmen would arise in this hour. A watchman would decree and declare. A watchman would be fed. A watchman would be strengthened. Oh, arise. 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 Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We decree and declare that this land is blessed. The whole of St. Vincent is filled with the glory of the Lord. St. Vincent is filled with light. Men and women are rising to that light. They are rising to your light. Young people are coming to your light. Amen. Young people are coming to your light. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Young people are coming to your light. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Awake. 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 Lift your hands to the Lord. Thank you, Father, of everything that you have done in this house today. Let it be maintained. I pray you continue to strengthen your people. Surround them like a hedge, hedge of fire. I pray that no hedge will be, there will, no, there will be no breach, there will be no breaking of that hedge. Not just as individuals, but as a people corporately. Sustain the oil. Sustain strength in the name of Jesus. Whatever the situations are that are difficult that needs to be worked out, that needs to be settled, I pray that God will show himself for you. I decree favor over your life. I decree that there's no sickness that will remain in your body. There's no disease that will remain in that body. In the name of Jesus, Amen. as you are salt of the earth, a preserver, Amen. I decree that you first, you are preserved. Amen. You are preserved. Amen. Your health is preserved. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. lift your hands wherever you are. I come against untimely death. Amen. I come against sickness, Amen. projections, Amen. accidents, Amen. every form of evil. In your going out and your coming in, I decree you are covered in Jesus' name. I decree you are covered in Jesus' name. Your blessing will not be intercepted. What God has spoken over your life concerning you this year, pertaining to 2024, especially in the month of April, it will not be diverted in the name of Jesus. It will surely come to pass. You will have a lot to thank the Lord for. Amen. You will celebrate this year. Amen. You will celebrate every month of this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will have testimony upon testimony. Amen. I decree life. I decree strength. I decree sustenance. Amen. I decree prosperity. Amen. Even in the area of finances. In your business, I command the shift. I command things to move. Things to move. In the name of Jesus. I speak acceleration. Even now. Even in your career. On your job. I speak open doors in the name of Jesus. Open doors everywhere. And as you come back here, you come back celebrating. Let there be no bad news that will come to your life. No bad news that will come to your house. In the name of Jesus. 
In your homes, let there be the atmosphere of heaven. In your homes, in your lives, let there be the atmosphere of heaven. And it is so in Jesus' name. Somebody celebrate the Lord Jesus. I said to celebrate the Lord Jesus. Lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands. Listen, don't take it for granted when I speak like this. Only the young shan, there's a weight of his power that is at work. Prophetic words are like the dew of heaven. Words. It will surely come to pass. Joanna, come quickly. Nisha, come. Serve the Lord. You hear me? Serve the Lord. I saw something about Janida. It's not something to worry about. God is not done with her. Listen, I wish I could say now that she should stay. I can't say it now. I saw something. The devil won't contaminate in Jesus' name. Bring the oil quickly. I must pray for your hands. Your business won't come under tax. See God giving you more favor. The people you have seen come, you haven't seen anything yet. Hmm? God will give you the right connections. It is done. She came to me a few months ago, she said a few months ago that after I decreed and prayed and what she has seen, but there's another level. Serve the Lord. You will not lack. Live right. You hear me? Don't depend on anyone for money. God will give you your own money. Amen. Clap your hands. Let's welcome Pastor Neil as he comes. I love you. I'll see you on Tuesday. The will of the Lord. God bless you. Come on, let's celebrate the man of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. We truly want to thank God for We are at the end of another wonderful service where the presence of God was tangible, the word of God was rich, and the power of God was demonstrated. Thank you so much for watching and we truly pray and hope that you were blessed. We would love for you to partner with us as we spread the gospel of Jesus Christ all across the globe. If you would love to do so, I want you to contact us via the information on the screen. Send us your testimonies. Send us your prayer requests as we advance the kingdom of God here on the earth. Until our next service, family, God bless you and may His face continue to shine upon you. We love you.